That's right. It's time for a haul in the closet. Hello, y'all. Welcome to Hall in Closet, the show where I, Jada Essence Hall, and I, Heidi in Closet, explain. To- oh, <laughs> where we apparently where we fuck things we up. Two authorities. Yeah. On absolutely, apparently nothing, but everything is the script. Okay, T. Explain it all. Oh, explain it all. Look Yay. at you. This is great, off to a great start. <laughs> Y'all know for a fact this is going to be amazing. Now, you can think of us as two special investigators as we seek out the answers to what you need to know and what we need to know about everything from drag. To love. To science. To constipation. Okay, damn, you got me, girl. I was... <laughs> <laughs> We have an insatiable curiosity, and we know you do, too. There you go. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you now have to drop the slack on your line. Well, be, so I just got to read the whole script. Yep, T, there you go. So get ready to learn how it all works, according to us, at least. This is Hall, Hall and Closet. Closet. Now let's get some nonsense. Okay, T. Now, Heidi, this is our very first episode. Get up in there. Get up in there, get, yeah. Get up in there. Yeah, Heidi, we are lean, leaning all the way into the, these microphones and we Jada, get to be this is podcasters. This is our first podcast. Have you ever done a podcast before? I f- was featured on, um, h- we did the podcast, The Bald and the, the Beautiful. The Bald and the Beautiful with Trixie and Katya. Yeah, um, I have definitely been I a was guest on the Cole on... Byers podcast. Oh, T, why how don't was you it? Love, is it Why Don't You Love Me or Why Don't You Date Me? Why, why, don't you, why won't you date me? Why won't you That's date me? That's the one. Heidi, will I have the answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know why. Oh, you know why. Now, it's those stains you usually leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, do you, in a normal uh, day setting, do you listen to podcasts? On I love basis? listening to podcasts. This is the thing that I feel like that you Really? Because you talk so much. <laughs> And the in the moments when I don't talk so much, I listen so much. Oh, That's okay. Sweet. Yeah, you know, like I'll listen to a podcast while I'm like playing slots on my phone or bingo on my phone. I don't have a damn old addiction. people games. Okay, okay. <laughs> old people you games. You are gonna stop coming for my candy and my games. <laughs> you got the little peppermint candies in your purse. <laughs> Oh my god! Like not like the old uh, drag lady. her, drag her down. Okay. But I actually, um, I actually recently just got into podcasts. Yeah. Uh, my my newly acquired partner actually has yes. been really getting me into podcasts. Like when we go on drive long drives, we'll uh we'll throw on a podcast and we'll listen. It's been really cute. Actually, Tea. I didn't I didn't think I would be into podcasts, but surprisingly, when people talk about interesting things, why I did like you to think listen. you wouldn't be? Because I I'm more I like I used to watch like video games and stuff, mm-hmm. so that's what that was more my thing. I so you was more video- yeah. But yeah. this is the thing about a podcast. Hopefully, you're watching or listening to this podcast right now while you're playing your video game. I could do or both. masturbating. You can well, do ma- anything while you listen to this podcast. Th- that's true because it's about everything. It's it is true. about everything, and and we might give you answers on masturbating one day that you might need while you're masturbating uh, we'll, to the podcast. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that maybe at a okay. later okay, day. Got you. <laughs> maybe don't do that to the podcast. Also, maybe not. Now, Jada, can you tell me why you wanted to do this podcast with, um, with us together? Okay, T. I feel like we talk too much. Uh-huh. Often, go ahead, and we have so much to say, and usually people in our lives don't want to listen. Opinionated, very opinionated. Opin- so I thought if maybe we just get in a room and we forcibly just talk to ourselves, and maybe somebody would listen out there in the deep space. You, <laughs> the deep space. Yeah, yeah. Well, for myself, I think. I th- oh, I've always had a good rapport with you. One, T, one. We, we really got along on season twelve. You were probably the person I was the closest to with T. when we were filming. Until you sent me home, and then I was like, "Oh, she's okay." Well, you know what? Even uh, when I sent you home, <laughs> I, I was you got, loving you. I love you. I gotta bring you. Back. Even though I sent you home, I loved you on the way. I, I then loved why you did she leave me your phone number in the letter, ho? I'm I asking. The, I'm asking I the hard hitting questions I on I this you. podcast. You didn't leave me your number. I left you a letter. You. Le- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh she does like, like no, literally. <laughs> oh, I when, can't see you. No, okay. Randomly, this is so random. But like while talking about that, remember we were so sad when we were like we oh, knew we were going to we the bottom. We knew together. we were going to be at the bottom too, and we're like, 
girl, that was so depressing. And like, but then Heidi was like, so like getting very, she was like, oh girl, I've been in the bottom so many times. Girl, I was like, oh girl, they said, I, and they, this is my turn. I, I said, the girl, night, baby. I said, bitch, get in the game, honey. <laughs> okay. And you better send me the fuck home, girl. Cause that's what the fuck I'm planning to do to you today. And okay. guess what I was right. And that's what you had did. That's what I had did. But you know what? We Thank were fighting you. hard. You fought very hard. 1999 was a rough year for us all. <laughs> Wasn't it though? Yeah. <laughs> I was four. No, five. No, six. How old was I? 94. 94. 94. One, two, How do you've never been good with five, math? Five, six, eight. <laughs> I was five. I was okay, five. Well, I was mm -hmm, 17. I was never. I was on the edge of seventeen. <laughs> the edge. I was. I was a good, sexy, maybe around <laughs> around that time when Y two K was about to really fuck us up, girl. Mm -hmm. I was twelve. Wow. I had just turned twelve in December. You're only that much December older. December ninth, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. And you look like that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I look like that. It's called money. Heidi. Oh, <laughs> Goody. Goody. It's called good skin. That was a good one. Do you, Heidi? Do you, I. like I do, do you feel the constant need to create and post content as a public figure? Oh, dear Jesus, yes. It's probably my one, my biggest, like, stress factor, like, having to put out more and more content, I think. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a way to advertise yourself and yeah. advertise your brand as well as stay relevant in the, in the fandom and, mm -hmm. and just keep, like... It's it's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure to keep yeah. doing it, but and then you also like you'll get wrapped up in the numbers, and then it's like oh my god, honey, oh the the numbers are that's why I I've stopped officially looking at the numbers because yeah. I can't keep doing it. I I'm like I'll too. post and I'll not look. I'm not looking. Is it literally this is like this is the thing because Instagram before Drag Race was like fun, 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 oh, fun. Oh, it was like oh I'm gonna post this ugly. Over edited sepia toned. Oh, girl, where you with a frame around it that girl, is Girl, where horrible. you look like the fantasy, and then when you work with photographers and they take a picture and yep. you look like that doesn't look like me, and it's like, no, bitch, that is That's 100% what you. Look like. you. <laughs> I like looking like those sepia toned photos. Can we go it was back a better to the days time, when girl. Instagram was literally just ugly pictures? It was of just like orange, pictures. And we, over edited, we like looked over like filtered. A, we would go on that thing and you just blur everything under the eye. Like, like, I would always do, I'm the focal point and everything else around me was blurred. Bro, and it was Oh, orange. that's cute, girl. Yeah. I'm the focal point. You yeah. should have went under the eyes, too. Because I'm telling Ugh. you, changed my life. T under the eyes? Under the eyes, right here. You right go here, right under little, there. Yeah, just a little, little, like a little blur. That makes sense. Hit it with a little bit of brightness. Oh, that's. But I don't post pictures like that no more, so. Nope, so you, all useful, professional. Use, useless information. Also, now, this is huh? the other thing. Creating content yeah. is so expensive. It, oh, like for like when you're trying to do photo yeah. shoots and stuff, you have to get a yeah. whole look created, New wardrobe, hair, nail. It's mm -hmm. like, it's it do be getting expensive, and then you also gotta pay the photographer. You gotta yeah. pay the photographer. But but so, no, well sometimes because well, this is the because sometimes they will ask I mean, to collaborate with you. Well, you yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like because I'm like. Bitch, I was gonna say you. You always have you pay. had any good you collaboration? You always pay somehow you with always, pain or 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 with your collaboration home or, 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 or collaboration. I, Heidi, if I have to pay with my body, honey, you gonna do that? It. Would be an unlimited wealth resource. Okay, <laughs> we would not be one. There would not be a hike, and like there is with gas prices, honey, because it would be constantly high. <laughs> this is pure D sexy love I'm serving here right today heard, in this podcast. I heard poverty, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> You could not take okay. If okay, let's say if we were like, what would your sex be worth? Okay, how much money would your sex be worth? My sex would be and worth? like a real amount. Don't oh, be sitting here talking about a million dollars. I was gonna say a million, but I would want someone to pay a million. You know, I'm trying to be I'm, gay. What shit, is like, it worth? It Just one good time. And well, not okay, but what is what is the worth? The value? Oh my goodness, definitely a couple thousand. Okay, a couple. Definitely I a couple definitely thousand. say a million. You think how? Tell me I can't say a million. Uh, you because say I know it's not worth a million dollars. Girl, you that, crazy. How dare you? <laughs> that was here. all a setup. You gonna sit here and tell me my bouchon is not a hundred thousand, a million dollars. Okay, girl, girl, I'll look, go you. ahead and sell it for whatever you want to sell it for. I am. Girl, okay. okay. Period. No, I really, really, I really, really hate you sometimes. Okay. Okay, so let's do a little update. So what okay. have you been up to? I see that you've been in the in the drag race live, live uh, in yes. Vegas. I have been having the best time starring in the leading role as Jada Essence The leading role? Yeah. Lead Do I need to ask some other girls if you're the leading, leading role? Leading role? I mean, this is the thing. Like, I should go ask Asia if she This is the that. thing. You have to come to work and oh. know who you are every day. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? No. The headliner. 
headliner. But we're, <laughs> we're uh, the headliner, honey. Oh, the big, cause headliner. Because you, you got a big head. But Well, it's like a bunch of us, and you know that, honey, <laughs> uh, uh, to be ew, true. <laughs> ew, <laughs> nasty. nasty. But it's like it's six of us in the show, so Asia uh-huh. is the host. Then there's, there's me, there's Cameron, there's Derek, Trinity's in the show, Eureka's in the show, and we also have uh, some swings that come in when we are not able to be Ooh. there. So we have Ooh. Alexis Mateo, um, who's a new work. swing. We have Coco Montrese, honey. Love all these girls. Girl, I, dude, let me tell you, I love Coco so much. Uh huh. Tell me. Oh, that. and her daughter is there too. Kahana, Kahana is there. Kahana yes. is a, you know, Kahana love is a Kahana. Sweetheart. But bitch, Coco is just a dose of old school drag. And I, down. Lo- I love old school drag. This is what I grew up with. So yeah, I love a good old school drag. And so you know, like when we when we travel on the road and like you kiki girl, and this is the thing, girl. You know how you kiki and shade with the girls with your sisters? Do you shiki yes. shay? Like we can't do that when we travel on tour. No, why? Like, girl, you can't come in the dressing room and be like, bitch, with that tired ass wig. And then I the love girls that, like, though. this bitch came here and called, said my wig was she bad. She woke up and chose violence. She was this disrespectful. Day. But then when we at the show and you're like, girl, with that raggedy ass Tied wig, and you know, and then she's like, oh, girl, bitch, oh, come on with your ripped yeah, up ass, you know. That's very cool. So it's, it's very that. I love that. But you you would you kind of miss that on the road because you mm-hmm. like unless you some cities I've been to, girl, the girls we be having some, bitch, we have a key. key I I, I you know. did come to some of the uh, driving drags and I I got to go behind and, and like it's see the girls at Kiki a little bit and Vanjie be pouring them shots so damn heavy. She be I'm like, ah. Oh. Vanjie got a heavy hand. She do got a heavy hand. And, and heavy people hand. need to know that. She got a heavy, heavy hand. Yes. Oh, that's me. Girl. Okay, T. Now, now, I was on my Instagram recently. I about and that. I saw that you got to see uh, Miss Katy Perry live. I think she even rolled on top of you at one point. Yes, she did. Okay, now this was the T, honey. Was that like last minute notice? Or did um, y'all know about it we, going we knew, about, we knew that we were going to go see Katy. Uh-huh. And so we were like, okay, we went on our off day, which was a Wednesday, which okay. made the week feel very long. But girl, I, you only had one day off I was on cloud nine, honey. <laughs> so we got to go like VIP in the back Ooh. dressing room, girl, with inflatable fucking chairs. What? The chairs were like... An, the little kid fantasy in me was Nickelodeon down. I love it. Was it. Neon green, I mean neon orange, like inflatable chairs, really cute. I love it. Like real cute, like posters and stuff. And then they had open bar. Oh, so the girls were girling that night. The girls were girling that we night. Lo- we honey. love to see it. And we this is the thing: if you've been to Vegas, I have. Anywhere on the Strip, honey, you will understand that a free cocktail is worth its price in gold, girl. Cause like oh, literally slowly. drinks are like $25. I was I was in Vegas once and I was uh I was I was at the slots and I was, yeah. I was living my old woman fantasy. Did you lose? Oh baby, I lost two hundred dollars and it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. But I got my cocktail. I got my free cocktail. I was like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm playing a slot cup yeah. my drink. <laughs> but we had open bar cute love it all top shelf living she came in and she met with all of us Derek had some things that she brought out that she signed she signed oh. like an album cover she signed like this painting that uh that her her one of her husbands had uh-huh. her husbands had done girl gagging and then she was just so sweet how did you time. end up on stage she we well we were second row uh-huh me and Derek were screaming singing the lyrics she would hear us and respond. It was oh, you was yaggy. talking to Katie, talking to Katie. Well, at her concert, kind of, kind we of, kind of like just screaming. We were really kind of screaming nonsense. Y'all were well. yelling. She was like acknowledging Down. y'all's existence. Yeah. Okay. And so then she brought us on stage for Switch Switch, where they have she look our existence. We were there, honey. Was in the building. We were in the building. In the building. And we were full of those free cocktails. Oh, I'm sure. I so, would be too. You, I know. Damn. Next time we do something like that, you got to come. Well, girls, you, you this got my address. This is an open invitation my to phone. Las Vegas. When, well, girl, when you when you answer my phone call. Heidi, this is the thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if you answer my phone call. This is the thing, Heidi. When you call, uh huh. I know. Yeah, yeah. That you love me. I, I, well, yeah. Yeah. And then you don't answer. So why, why don't you answer? Because I know you love me. I know the love is there. There's no need to answer the phone. It's, I like, I, what did I know you're going to say, Jada? Sister, I miss you. You're beautiful. I love you. No, that's, no, that's not what Heidi, I was going to Heidi, I dare you right now to call me. <laughs> I dare you right let now. Let me turn off call my airplane mode. right mo- now. And let let's me turn see. off my airplane mode. Call me right now. Let me turn off my airplane mode. I'm about to call Jada. Since call right, me right now. Watch her not answer. Watch her not. Girl. She, and she's fully sitting across the table from Girl, me. Girl, what? She's fully sitting across the table from me. Okay, call me. It's ringing. It's a FaceTime. Girl, I look hideous I know. from this angle. That was a setup. Wait, <laughs> it's a setup. 
I'm gonna answer it. Are you? Oh my goodness, should we take a screenshot? Heidi, this is sickening because guess what? Literally, you cannot complain about that anymore. Yo, this is done. You're gonna call Good the night. problem, end it. <laughs> Okay, girl, look, at this point, we are going to take a break. Um, yeah. Bye. We'll be back. <laughs>this is what we're gonna do we're gonna read the script mm -hmm. and we're gonna take our time reading the script because I'm, I'm guess do what it. today we have an excuse this is our first podcast i'm in charge ever. of the girls you okay well to go ahead i'm in charge of the script. handle well. it okay okay it's been handled yes yes mom we're gonna okay. crack this case <laughs> i'm gonna crack it together. crack it wide open okay <laughs> here we go welcome yes. back to hall and closet as you know we are dedicated to fact finding and truth seeking and one thing we want to do with this show is pull the curtain back on talk through how Drag happens. I was running yes. out of breath. <laughs> she made it. <clears throat> so, y'all, anyways, but to, to today, for today's origin story, y'all, this is our segment origin story, honey, where we get down to it. Honey, Ooh, the we're getting origins. down to the nitty gritty, the origins, the or whatever it is we want to know, honey. Oh, my God. Today's origin story segment, we are going to talk all about something you know a lot about, something mm -hmm. I know a lot about. What we know about. Capes, oh, baby. No. Yes, <laughs> and in particular, oh, our capes, honey. Ours. For and our on our season... You had an uh, uh, an amazing cape moment. Was it? We had to do Planet beautiful. of the Capes, honey. Was, uh, and and question uh, that I know I that a lot of people in the world want to know. Yes. Girl, what happened? Okay, let me tell you a story. What the fuck happened, Heidi? So I so we get our we get our we get our list of all mm -hmm. the things that we're supposed to bring or whatever. Capes. And we and we reach out to who we know can make stuff and capes. and I I read. <laughs> Capes. Capes in particular. <laughs> Go, yeah. Oh, you were saying I had a bunch of ugly outfits. That's what you <laughs> I had to say that. Shady. Shady. I didn't even say that. Shady. But um, <laughs> the, the outfit came like a day before I was the day before yeah. I was supposed to leave, and the outfit I took the outfit out the box, and there was no cape to be found. Okay. There was no cape, and I was like, oh. Uh, and then, mind you, the garment didn't even fit properly. It was, like, a mismatched, like, lengths of... Like, my arms were, like, super long. Yeah. And my leg was, like, super okay, short. Okay, now, this was the It tea. was confusing. That's where I got confusion. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Look over there. This was the T. Now, when we were doing that, though, that was the moment my heart was breaking. Because that was the night you told me I should go home. No, I didn't tell you you should go home. You, you did say I should go that home. That was the <laughs> night. Now, that was the night. You said I should I, go now home. Now, that was the night I did say that on the runway. Hateful. I did say that on the runway. Hateful. Because I had to be honest. Oh! But the thing is, Heidi, and I didn't know because also, Hateful. video, seeing the clip, you know. I was there. Yeah. Yeah. We were both there, Heidi. I was there. Heidi, we were there together. I didn't think my... Do you want to know the, the yeah. meaning behind my runway? Tell me. So when you look at... Okay, so you have like the big you, eight... Okay, routine. is this... It, 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 is, okay, first of all. Okay, First of all. What? Is this the, the story... This, is this what the Capes runway was? With the story you're about to give us about this journey, about this About this, this outfit look, that we're looking at right now. Was this the journey when you got the list not, you was, said? No. This what you're about no, to say? the original outfit was something completely different. Okay, so... The, do you so want to talk about the original outfit? Tell me this fantasy first. Okay, so this one right here. Yeah. You know when you see a, eight, a big 18-wheeler and it has the, uh, the, the, the mud flaps on the back of it? And you see the, it has the, the shape of a woman. So I was like, the silhouette. So that's what all the black was for. So I was giving you the silhouette. Okay, so you wanted to be like a girl. And then I had a pride flag. So I was giving you like the silhouette of pride. Mind blown. Heidi, that my, is literally something drop, you just literally. Mic drop. You are worse than the Sandman <laughs> pushing the sand out, girl. You Mike just literally dro pulled that out of your anus. No, and that was really that's rough. That's literally what I said the night. You made that up right that's, now, Heidi. No, that's literally what I told the judges that night. That's they didn't show them? it. They didn't show it, but that's what I told them. And I would have been gagging. They loved the I beauty of it. I was there. They loved you. Were I was there when you said that. You just don't remember anything. I to don't do with remember me. hearing that. You don't remember me. It's okay. Well, at that point, it was trauma. We were traumatized. <laughs> we, were tra <laughs> we were all traumatized. We were sleep deprived. We were sleep deprived Girl. and traumatized. Now, but when you got the list originally, uh huh. What was 
in your mind, Cape's idea? My original idea was Red Riding Hood goes to the disco before she sees t- goes to grandmother's house. That was what my concept originally was going to be. So I was going Heidi, to- that also sounds like what you just said about the cape. No, that was real that though. That is so confusing. No, that, that's fully what my, my idea was. Red, <laughs> Red Riding Hood goes I to live. the disco okay. before she hits grandmother's so what, house. So, yes. <laughs> It was gonna be. It was gonna be. It was gonna be a cat suit with big bell bottoms, okay. bell bottom sleeves, okay. and a cape, and like it was gonna, it was okay, gonna, that it was gonna be sense. a little disco okay, got moment you. with a ca- nice cape. Girl, mind you, I never Hood got the was cape. Was a kid. Okay, Br- she you, could Britta not be at sing- the disco. They were Britta literally was- in Studio sixty seven. Okay, four. Girl, four. Studio sixty four. That's four. Nintendo sixty four. Girl. Five, 54. 65, 54. Not 65, 54. You said it wrong the first time anyway. Okay. <laughs> Girl, well, they were in oh. there doing drugs. Down. Yeah. You, could, why can't, you why, could not be Little Red Riding Hood. Why couldn't I be? Literally. And well, I'm not Lily. Coke riddled disco. I'm not Lily, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm just wearing her outfit. Okay. Down. Okay. T, got you. But I'm not doing I any love drugs. It. I'm not doing any I drugs. I love it. I love that idea. I, I love I love it for me too. Okay, so then and then and, and then what happened? Cause if you didn't, you didn't take us to the disco. I did take us to the you disco. You didn't take us to the disco. So which is I, lucky because Britta ended up wearing a red, red riding, riding hood, hood look. look. So I, I guess it was just meant to be. So when I found out, it was the day before I was supposed mm-hmm. to leave. So I had to find something. So I had to pull. I went to my one drag sister's house and I got this cat suit. Okay. That she had actually, um, she found these as curtains on and, the side of the road and she sewed the curtains into that cat suit. Okay. So, and I'm going to tell you this, henceforth <laughs> going forward from this moment now, it uh-huh. is no longer considered a cat suit. This is the silhouette. This is the silhouette. This is the silhouette. The silhouette, honey. So the silhouette was Y'all made of take. curtains. Yeah, the silhouette was made of curtains. Okay. From and the from the side of the, ro- from from the, side the, side of the, of the road from the side of the road to the main stage of Drag Race, baby. And you know them came from somewhere in the South too because you use road. <laughs> On the side of the road, not the street. On the side of the road, I'm I country. just imagine a little solitude home uh-huh. off to the side in the distance. That's exactly what it is. Broken window. You gotta go down the driveway. All the way far back. Uh huh. And then like the mailbox, real close in the box uh-huh. next to the mailbox. And it's a little crooked because it's been hit yeah. a couple times. Yeah, with a dent in it. There's a maybe a woman on the porch, Whoa. holding her kid's hand Rock- or rocking on the rocking chair, wondering where her husband went. Wow, that got deep. Yeah. He left, went to the store. I hope he comes back. <laughs> I hope he comes back. <laughs> I hope he comes back. Oh my god. Yeah. Maybe he maybe he went to Pride. Okay. Well still we, of Pride. We've de- we've de- <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, well, we've definitely, we've, I hate you. We've definitely talked about my cape look okay. um, enough. Now, <laughs> enough. you were actually crowned yeah. in a look that had a cape. Tea. And you had the foresight enough, you know, whatever, to see that you needed a crown. Because, yeah. you know, you got crowned in your living room, so it was nice to have. T, yeah, I mean, God, it was it nice, was to, nice to, have to have one that night. <laughs> <laughs> Even but, if I had to drive myself. But this look was definitely a lovely, <laughs> lovely one. Um, what what does it, what is it, what to you, honestly, yeah. what does it take to make a look for, for like such a big occasion? Like what went through your mind and what, what steps did you go through to come up with this creation? Well, girl, this was the tea. I would love to take full credit and responsibility for this look with Joshua Naponte. Definitely. Joshua Naponte. Yeah, Joshua Naponte. I love Joshua. He made my rose gown for my uh, for, congeniality yeah, give, congeniality up. give up. Yeah. He, such a sweetheart. And he's a really good man. Talented. And, and, down. and he was like, and I was like, well, we talked about like what we're going to do. I was like, I kind of want to have a reveal, but I don't want it to be like a an obvious reveal. Yeah, like a, a that kind of reveal. Like, and I was like, like season ten when you, everyone had like something big honey, and bulky. All it's it, like, it's, oh, that's almost definitely going to be a okay. tearaway. And now this is random, aside from things, but this, it reminds uh-huh. me of the show. Name that cake, fake that cake. <laughs> what is or that wish show? The, cake, the show with the cakes where the cakes is like, there's a lot of shows. With, there's a lot and of shows. And you gotta with guess cake. which cake is the fake cake. The British Bake Off? Great British no, Bake Off? No, not Great British Bake Off, <laughs> honey. The Cake Off show. The Cake it's like Off. Literally, no, that, not that. That, that sounds like something off um, Food Network. <laughs> the Cake Off. Prison. Ooh, I bet you because you used to. The Cake Off. They used to knock that cake off, honey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's a show where they have real things and uh-huh. then people make cakes of those real things. Oh, like, so, like, when Trixie did a real life-size 
Trixie out of cake. That's the kind of stuff they make. Yeah. Okay. Ish. But yeah, it oh. will be like this microphone and you just cut it. You know how I'm obsessed with those I've cake seen, videos. I've seen those videos on your, yeah. on your story. So, I There's don't one know. really right now of butter. I don't know. I think the lighting on the show or something is weird because mm-hmm. I can not tell. Is it cake? Is That's it what it's ca- called. Is it cake? Is it cake? Is it cake? Cake, 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 cake. cake, cake, cake. <laughs> oh. But okay. The the point was with some of them, I would just I just know immediately. I have studied these cake videos, girl, uh-huh. and I know now, when you, I watch it. Now, are I know. you a connoisseur of cake? I love cake. The people want to know. I love cake. Oh, you, you like, like cake, cake, girl? I love cake. Oh, yeah, I love a piece of cake myself. I what kind of cake you like? Hiding. All of it. Uh, mm. What? As long as it's clean. You like that wet cake? <laughs> when the cake be wet. <laughs> when it's moist. It would be real wet. Oh, what? I hate the word moist. <laughs> wet cake. Oh, my goodness. Is that yeah, a beach see. ball? Now, look, Heidi. Okay. These, Wait, so, all that's cake. These random things are all cake. The the conch? One, no, one of them is a cake. Okay, one of them one is. One of them is not I mean, two of them are not you cake. You should work. I mean, two of them are not cake. One of them is a cake. And you have to guess which one is, is the, the cake. cake. It's, 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 it's the cooler in the Now, back. no disrespect to the artists because they do some slamming ass cakes, girl. But I just know fucking cake. You, you, I know cake. <laughs> you I, know cake. I know, baby. <laughs> I know cake. You know cake. I know cake. I heard so that I'm about watching, you, girl. It's just very clocky. And what I was getting to was that I could clock the cakes like I could clock the girls was about to lip sync. Well, well, look at God. And that was a it full when I, circle moment. You clocked it all. <laughs> well, I knew it. So we knew that they were going to do reveals. But you know what would have been the gag? Would have been the gag? What been the gag? The biggest gag? No, no reveal. reveal. It's Bitch, just the could you imagine? That would be the ultimate oh. gag. The ultimate reveal. Bitch, no reveal the real at reveal all. is that there is no reveal. You got to act like you're going to take it off and like, girl, nope. okay. So what up. we should do, challenge each other. We're going to okay. challenge each other. What, what's the challenge going to be? Both of us do a look. A lo- oh, no. At a show. Uh-huh. At a bar. Yes. We cannot say which one, and we have to have somebody record it where we do a reveal look where there is no reveal. Okay. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down And good. then we wait and see what the fuck the people's reaction I'm just, is. I'm just, you know how the do queens you think and- they like that? Uh, no, they're gonna be like, why the fuck did she just come out here in a cover up and not take it off? So we should do it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, we can do it. I say all that to say, I'm down. All that to say <laughs> that the cape look was slamming. Well, I'm, I'm glad we've talked about a good cape jo- look. <laughs> yeah. The cape look, the cape look was slamming, not the cake. Oh, I'm stuck on cake. This was back to come back to the cape. Look. Oh, back to the all cake. of this to say. I appreciate you coming back to us. That the yeah, now, the cape look was slamming. Josh Wan did a great job, and he put the crown on my head. He he said literally. He said, "I love you," and he said, "Even if you're not crowned, you're a winner to me." And he was the one who came lied. up with the idea oh. of the crown. What? And you know, people have gotten this tattooed. I'm supposed to get it tattooed, and you haven't. Do you think we could bring somebody here and tattoo it? Live at, on the yeah. studio? Should we get tattoos? We should. I'm down. We should get tattoos at the podcast. I'm Heidi. down. And we just podcast talk onto the During box nonsense. Just, oh, <laughs> just gonna be During noisy. nonsense, we should start the tattoos. I'm down. And then if it hurts real bad, girl, then we're gonna have to be like, stop. If that's what you wanna do. Okay. All right. So here we are back again at another break. We'll Let's see take you a soon. Break. Bye. This is a new segment, y'all. <laughs> this is a brand new segment because this is a brand new podcast, which <laughs> we can say for the first time new. ever. For the first po- time ever, in you our are podcast hearing history. and seeing it live, L- live, live in living color, C- color. and that's great because we're black women. <laughs> so, yes. And, and as you know, we are speaking of women. Yes, yes. Speaking of women, I'm going to get I'm, now. I'm going to get back to the paper. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank Finally. you. Finally, as you know, we are curious black women. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'd like to ask my sister some questions, y'all. I'm mm-hmm. going to ask you, Heidi, five questions. Okay. Okay, now five questions. I'm going to pick a topic that I am confident that you know a lot of information about. And I'm going to give it to you. Okay, T. And you are going to help me. Mm-hmm. This part, y'all, this is where we're going to normally have like very like, we're going to have some professionals here. We're going to have some people who, when, when, when we were curious about uh-huh. why do dogs get tapeworms? 
Wow. We will bring a veterinarian Why in do here. Get, are, are we really? We will. We can. We will. We could. We can do that. Let's do it. You want to know why we can do that? Because this is our, our podcast. podcast and we can do whatever the fuck we want to do. We can even say oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I like to cuss, Sorry too. Sorry to the children. Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Now, today, the topic is going to be, uh-huh. I'm going to cover yours so you can't see it. Okay, Did girl. you already read it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, well, act surprised. This is okay. gonna. This is this will be the acting challenge. Oh fuck! There will be no farts no, in this no, one. No, okay. no Daytona no wins. Farts. No Daytona wins. Okay. Oh my god. We will be asking you five questions about bull castration. <gasps> that was a good. One. Now, that was really. That was really <laughs> scared me. Um, now, Kitty. <laughs> Now, this is the thing. You saw what the topic was. Yes. But it doesn't matter Mm-mm. because the five questions. Because you're steering the bus. I am steering. I have never and heard anybody say that, Heidi. That's not even real. <laughs> that is real. That is as real as pride. Sti- the pride silhouette of pride. <laughs> Don't you do me. You cannot. <laughs> Don't you do me. You cannot. You're hateful. Steering the you're, bus. You're I am rude. steering. I, will, I am now steering the bus, you're Heidi. steering the bus. Question number one about bull castration. Uh, uh-huh. Give it to me. Why do they call a bull a bull? That's the first thing. And they, just be honest. I'm going to be honest. You know, um, back in ye olden days, yeah. I think it was uh, 1982. Don't bring up it, Christopher Columbus because we don't fuck with him. We don't know. He don't even go He's here. not our homie. He don't even go here. Yeah. 1982. In the, the year yes, Heidi. of the president. Who was the president? Reagan. Reagan, Ronald Reagan. Was it? He wasn't he the one that got um... bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <He> was... <laughs> Ronald, no, it was Ronald Reagan. It he was, was Reagan. Ronald Reagan. He died recently. Oh my goodness! He was the president. Well, back to the story. Mm-hmm. God rest his soul. Uh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's take a moment, really they, fast. They realized that cows. They were, Heidi, out, they were out in the really pasture. You just really missed his moment of silence. How rude! <laughs> oh, was there? Yeah, yeah, we give him a moment not... of silence. Oh, for moment of silence. Reagan. Moment of silence. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you cannot laugh through the moment of silence? That is not how this works. Okay, well, go ahead. Finish. I'm I'm sorry. Tell me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Sorry, Ronald Reagan. So (laughs) We love you. Big up to the homie. (laughs) Trickle down effect. Okay. Um, (laughs) Okay. I hate that. Ye olden days. But the ye olden days in the 1982, um, they they realized something out in the pastures that Mm -hmm. all the cows were in that there was a certain type of cow. And it had, um, mm-hmm. it was a cow that was immune to ma- mad cow disease. Okay. So it was renamed to bull, so it had a different representation. So bulls are when a cow cannot get mad cow disease, and cow is just for regular cows that can uh, get mad cow disease. Yeah. Moo. Heidi, that, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're professional. <laughs> professional. You know, and you know more about bull castration than me. And do. obviously, and do. Okay, now mm-hmm. the next question. Yes, tell me. When they say grab life by the horns, <laughs> that's what you're gonna say the balls, but okay, by the horn. Why did you choose to grab life by the balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because I was in, I was actually in high school animal science class. Okay. So that's how I had to learn how to castrate a bull. So that's how I, I guess, as you would say, grabbed life by the balls. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That is a good motto for anybody. Seize the moment. Seize grab the, life by the balls. Carpe diem, Carpe bitch. diem. Grab life by the balls. That's not what it, But okay. you better put some consent on it. But, oh, and c- c- consent Sexy. It is very sexy. It's very and important. Now, do you get consent from the bulls? You, uh, you I don't want to. Never mind. I don't even want to bring this up. <laughs> I don't even want to bring this up. Don't even want to go there. Don't even. I don't go even want. I don't even want to open that can of worms. Leave it alone. We just gonna leave it alone. So, what is bull castrating? Now, bull castrating yeah. is actually when you remove. The bull testicles. Okay, the balls. Uh huh. Yeah, Grabbing yeah, them yeah. By the balls. Te- uh, s- scientific term: testicles. Testicles. You can't say balls. B- balls. Okay. Do wait. But okay. It's a real question. Okay. Sorry to ju- cut you no, off. No, real question. Do they call them balls, or do you just say bull testicles? In in the bull castrating world. 
in the bull castrating world, you are supposed to sound as professional as possible. So you would but, say um, You know, a ball is allowed every once in a while, but you know, you don't want to drop the B-ball. Drop ball. the ball. You the don't want to drop the ball. The B-word <laughs> all the time. So you want to be as you don't professional drop the ball. as okay, possible. So castrating. Like us. Yeah. Okay, so now, again, castrating, you grab them by the balls. Okay, I'm walking you down the process. Okay, yes. Said. Ooh, this is okay, very so bloody. Okay, so first and foremost, you actually have to get the, the bull into... A mechanism that can make it stand still because n- who goes stand still while you chop their balls off? Nobody. So what you do is you get them into the mechanism. You gotta lead them yeah. into the mechanism, and you basically have to get them stuck in the mechanism. And then stuck. Yeah, like because you get them like the chamber, like each doors on each end closes, and then they okay. th- like they put them like. Not like a headlock, but something around like their sh- they like, hit, like so a they little, can't like, like a they can't woogity. yeah so they can't strong woogity, woogity. Uh, yeah okay. woo, woo. yeah something woo, like woo, that woo, woo, woo. and then okay. um you'll place a band around the t- you'll go up around the testicles and put okay. a band up at the top. Why are you going like this? Because they're big, they're huge. What? How big? Okay, like again, they're not that big. I don't know. Why. Okay, let's say maybe their scrotum is a little bit. Yeah, so it's like a big sack. It's a yeah. Okay, the testicles let's themselves are like fruit. He, fru- okay. Would you say pineapple? No, dear God, no. Not pineapple. <laughs> okay, because this was given pineapple. No, I'm t- like, whoa. I remember. I remember specifically that the testicles could both fit into a, like a, a spandex glove, a latex glove, not spandex. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Gloves come in different sizes, Heidi. A, l- a large glove. Was it like an opera length glove? No, it was not an opera length. It was just one that comes to your Okay, just a, okay, ankle. okay. Not ankle. What is Latex this? Latex-free, hopefully. What is this right here? A wrist. Wrist, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is this <laughs> on your body? A wrist. Okay, and I think that another question that I have I, always wanted to know. I didn't even finish. You didn't, you didn't finish? I'll, I'll wrap up. I'll wrap Heidi, that up. so you, there's you put, more to than just grabbing the balls? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do a little more than grab the balls to get it. Uh, then to my, my you said grab through. life by the balls. I did. Well, let me finish it. Okay, so okay. you make an incision down. You go in there and and you like the strings that hold like the ball is here and like what connects mm-hmm. them into there. You cut those. You have you have to have iodine to make sure that it's like all, so they're sealing it up. Yeah, so it doesn't get like an infection Bloody, or anything. Yeah. And then you know, and then you just have two warm testicles. I'm thinking about if that was me right now, it would be. Oh my God! Is that a I was is that say, a, is real that a sack of ball bull testicles? See, it. see, it is it is large. It looks like it you, is in charge. Anybody that's been in school and had to have like dodgeballs in a sack. <laughs> that is literally what when it's looking the, like right now. When the gym teacher brings out the that <laughs> sack of balls, the ball sacks. Boy, boy, the gym teacher but brings out his two. ball sack. <laughs> but it's only two balls in there. Very nice. Now when the teacher brings out Wait, his ball, the gym teacher brings out his ball Wait, sack. Wait, is that what I said? Essentially. Oh, Randolph County School. I'm telling you, oh, well, yeah, girl. I have to get out of there. Get I out. would have to be a responsible parent. So oh now you, you you use the iodine. You pull the balls out. make sure everything's disinfected. Yeah, clean. And you pull the balls out. Mm-hmm. That's nasty. It it is definitely an experience. It's something it's something I will never forget. I think it was one of the deciding factors that made yeah. me not want to go into the into uh, the healthcare. Be- <laughs> healthcare turned you into a drag queen. That moment tur- right there. That one moment in that a barn at my high school turned me into a drag. They queen. They had a barn at the high school. Yeah. Did you not? Yeah. I'm from the country, girl. Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of that in my life. We had they chickens, didn't... cows. We bred rabbits. We turkeys. The turkeys are hateful. They chased me at around. At the school? The turkey attacked me at the school. Yes, during So class. the bulls that y'all were cutting the testicles were off were the school's bulls. Yes. And, but you do it when they're younger. So they're like less, at, like right as they're like right four, like right as they're hitting So puberty. that's probably why they were not the size of a pineapple. Yeah. Those were ball, bull but balls. But that's, but that's, <laughs> These are just so that's. Crazy. I don't think that's actually okay. To those scale. are okay. I'm like, God, those are some big monstrous nuts. balls. It's wild. Yeah, y'all. I'm. I don't w- think we should post a picture somewhere. One of these with days balls? on social media, at least. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Because that is wild. There are people out there that do put testicles on their cars or trucks or whatever. They do. How how do you feel about it, Miss Jada? Baby, as a talk? I don't. I don't think it's cute. You don't think it's cute? They want someone said once said, "Would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? Do Would you, you put but a do you have a Bentley on your truck?" That's I don't know if that's does that equate to the same? I mean, kind of. Does it? 
I, I feel like it's almost like vandalism to your own car. <gasps> Vandal- don't you vandalizing your own stuff? To have like not- gigantic nut sacks swinging everywhere the- you drive. Ding, 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 it's almost ding, ding. like it's almost like those mud flaps with like the silhouette on the side. <laughs> oh, the silhouette. It's the a silhouette it's a good of pride. Flag. That's a decoration. Hold on, that's a good thing. Hold on, what? The, 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 the mud silhouette. flaps. The mud flaps. Okay, T. So look, Heidi. The one on last the question okay. about bull castration. Oh, work. Okay. okay, and this is a very, 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 very important question. Okay, give it to me. What do you want the people in the world to know about bull testicles? They're warm um, when you're filling them in a, a latex glove. They're very warm. Um, Hot. Squishy. Mm. They're um, fleshy. It's a good word fleshy. to use for it. They're oh, very fleshy. It's like a glob of like skin. It's, it's like a big gloop of skin and muscle. Yikes. Like, and like, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's something I definitely would like to forget since mm-hmm. I haven't done it in 12 years. It would definitely be nice to put it behind me. But yeah. Well, you know what? This is our podcast. And tonight me. we talked about it. And we did. And we brought it back to my I'm memory. I'm not your therapist. You should be. And I'm telling no, you, you that be, now actually. just so then that way you don't make inappropriate calls to me asking me to help you with things <laughs> randomly. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so but much. But today I feel like we made a breakthrough. Oh, oh, I'm the one that I do made. feel like we made a breakthrough. Speaking of break, it's time for another one. Yeah, let's have fun. <laughs> Bye. Right, Heidi. So this is again our first ever episode of Hall and Closet, yeah. honey. Um, and I figured we could talk about a little bit more stuff right now. We're just gonna talk about like some just random things as the podcast is evolving. This segment will evolve with us, mm-hmm. and I know that y'all like watching us grow. So stay tuned to the podcast and yeah, watch it grow with us, honey. We're definitely going to uh, have some really fun segments. I think we're going to yeah. uh, dive into some interesting topics and some questions and. Um, Yes, we are going to talk to experts. We are absolutely going to be talking to experts on things and and learn some new learn some new nonsense stuff. I'm actually really excited about. And we also, um, you know, what are we gonna do? We'll talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about. Absolutely. And that's the kind of energy I'm taking into for the rest of 2022. Wait, what year is it? Is it 2022? 2022. It honey. is 2022. You know what? It feels like I don't it's know what been year it is one anymore. year. I don't know how. Ever since co- it what? feels like the same year. Well, shit. Do you not feel like it's all felt like the same year? It's, like all of this it, shit is like since COVID. It feels like everything's just bled through the fucking well, Hobbit it, journey. Let's not say like bleed it is through. literally like the Hobbit. All three trilogies. And it's gonna be like 2023 oh, will be a part of that. No. No, 2021. 2022 has been it's been shaping out real cute. It's been good, good so far. Yeah. 2020 and 2021 were definitely um the shit show. Yeah. For it was sure. kind of crazy. <laughs> it was, was kind of crazy. It was definitely a learning curve for sure, though. I learned a lot of yeah. during this this curve journey. I learned what a lot. What was the accent? What was I the have no idea what that was. Curve journey. <laughs> curve journey. And then also it was not that it was the accent. It was the fact that you just blatantly made up a word <laughs> out of nowhere. Like you just literally just tried. That curvature is not a word. Is that not a word? I don't know. You don't know. Is it a word? It could be. Why couldn't it be? That means it absolutely is not. You're a liar. Am I? You are. <laughs> I've got you a video last so. You are. You are attacking me. Am I? You're attacking me. Oh. Okay, speaking of I'm attacking. Attacking. Oh, here she go. Speaking of attacking, you attacked me during the pandemic. Did I? Several times. You <laughs> clapped at me on um on some some Instagram lives I, we I, did. I did at you on uh, a couple Twitter of, a couple of times. A couple of times on Twitter. And we'll, and we'll continue to do so until you pick up my phone on a regular consistent basis. I will. Oh, and, and then in London when you um called my phone. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Whatever. Let's oh, talk so, about let's talk about, about this right now. It fully became part of my show. At every stop <laughs> I went to, I I think I made like eleven or twelve stops on this this UK tour. And mm-hmm. par- literally part of the act was me getting my phone, FaceTiming Jada, okay, and betting the crowd if Jada would pick up or not. And I would always bet against her picking up the phone. And I won every night. So. Okay, <laughs> this was the gag. 
this was the gag. I literally won this every This was the night. gag, y'all. No, this she is the gag. She never picks up the phone. Tell them where I was, Heidi. Where were you? When you were in the UK. Where I were was you? in LA. So I was in LA. Okay. And when Heidi was calling at night, it was so early in the morning. Pick up my phone. And Heidi also knows Call. that usually when I'm in LA, I am going to go party. And so I was Just, definitely <laughs> ugly. And had I answered the phone that always, first day, do like you that. know what you would have been responsible for? I what looked would I have been monstrous. For? I was like, you would have been eh. on the phone, girl. You would have been fine. They but I was the FaceTime. Yeah, it would have, they would have been able to see you. Oh, huh? you would have. But, oh, yeah, that's a good point. And I could have just screenshotted it and posted it later, yeah. Shady. <laughs> Shady bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Heidi. Yeah. Let's talk about something. This is something that I was thinking about earlier today. Now, okay. what do well. you think about people? Okay. Who eat pizza, mm -hmm. and I hope to God that you are not one of these people. People that eat pizza? That eat pizza. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> people that eat pizza. You just eat pizza? People that okay. just eat people. Oh. Wait, not people that eat pizza. Okay. People that eat pizza. People that eat pizza. Wait, girl, this reminds what? me. Wait. Cannibalism! <laughs> This reminds me of this woman okay. that was on the plane, girl. Oh, oh we're talking plane ride stories? It was the plane girl, ride story. Girl, Wait. oh, God. And she was like, and she was going up on the plane, and she was, like, panicking. Uh-huh. Trying to get her, like, luggage in the top little thing. Yes, those little things. And she's, like, just there. rocking, pushing, girl. She is, like, helpless. And I'm like, <laughs> what is going? I'm like, did anyone help her? Why don't she just slow down and just put it in there? And she was like, someone please get the stewardess. <laughs> like, and she was like, I can't get it in here. And like the lady came and helped her get it in there. Oh my God. And the lady was like, calm down, ma'am, please. And she like helped her put it in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then the lady turned around. She said, and ma'am, I have a daughter. Where's and she the said, daughter? <laughs> what about her? What okay. About the daughter? And what? then she said, <laughs> oh, she needs help too. She said, okay, I thought you were just telling me you had a daughter. <laughs> 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 and everybody on the plane started laughing so hard. And then the flight attendant was like, yeah, like, yeah. like I did that. And I was, mm. at first I was laughing like, oh, she got her. But then when she did, I was like, was she planning that the whole time? Is that why she even helped her? She planned that. She planned it. She planned that. Okay, but the question. <laughs> the question. <laughs> Not a person who eats pizza. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a person who eats pizza uh -huh. and leaves the crust on the plate. Uh, so people who don't eat the crust, who don't eat half of the who pizza, don't basically. Eat the pizza crust. That's literally half of the pizza. Like, why would you not? Especially when there's like cheese or something else in it. Yeah. Oh my god. Girl, that's wasteful. That's very wasteful. Like for me, like I worked at, at Burger King for yeah. for two and a half years, and mm -hmm. the amount of waste that we yeah. go through is ridiculous. Like there was always waste, always waste. And I was like, poop. People in Africa, or like just like or what kind of any waste? other country, or I anywhere. People, People are all over starving the all mm -hmm. over the world, and we're throwing away food like big yeah. those you know those big trash cans that like yeah. high schools, elementary yeah. schools, middle schools, those yeah. big ones. Oh, those dumpsters. We'd have those full every night, just throwing stuff away. I'm like, Dang. and I was poor myself working at Burger King. She said, I'm, I'm like, like I'm gonna be taking this home. <laughs> Yeah, that's sad. It's horrible. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Ridic di 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 so well, then maybe the world needs to learn to cut back. And y'all, look, Pull I'm back. not shaming you if you don't eat yeah. pizza crust. But I'm she not, kinda I'm is. not coming at you. And I'm, I'm saying she's, this now. <laughs> she's fully coming at you. I do you. not want hate on Twitter. Yes, she does. Okay. <laughs> I'm not calling you a bad person, You're but not. stop. But stop. It's terrible. What about pineapple on pizza? What you think? Girl, down. No. Absolutely what? Absolutely not. Yes, Incorrect. pineapple on no, pizza. No, that's not right. Are you serious? I'm fully on board with no pineapple I really on pizza. don't like pizza. You, do, you just don't like pizza? I really don't like but pizza. You're adamant, but you're adamant but about I am adamant pineapple about when on I do. Pizza. If pineapple is on pizza, I will eat it. So you're and that girl. And if the pizza is, I'm the girl you knew I was. Ugh, I know. Uh, and, and also Supreme Pizza. Supreme Pizza, Supreme pizza is pizza. a moment. Throw some pineapples on that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mine you fuckery. Ruin, you ruined Trust me. me. You ruined I'm me. telling you. I don't trust it. I'm telling you. That's really know. the only way I'll eat pizza unless I'm like eating some kind of like fancy pizza. Like one of those places where <laughs> like pizza. it's a flat bread. But I'm like it's just really like flat bubbly bread. pizza. Uh, bubbly, crusty pizza that's hard to chew. I, I flat hate, bread. Yeah, hate no. it. Mm -mm. I don't do flat bread. Flat bread. Uh, now nah, I will throw that I'll out. I'll do a thin crust. I won't do a flat bread. Okay. Does gotcha. that make sense? 
you're a thin crust pizza girl. I'll do a thin crust. Like, no, I usually do like hand tossed, but like, okay. If I I'm do, like, no. I don't do flatbreads really, but I will eat a thin crust pizza. My favorite kind of pizza is like the pizza from Chicago, Giordano's Chicago? Pizza. Do you ever had Giordano's Pizza? Where? It's like deep, deep dish pizza. Ooh. So deep, girl. You could dive <laughs> oh in my it. God. How deep? Tell me. Swimming deep, honey. Oh, my God. And you know you like it deep, honey. Love it deep. Love a it's deep dish. It's so deep. You got to use two oh, hands to get in goodness. there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Delicious. Two hands. Two hands, honey. Oh, my God. For a spoon and a fork. Yes, God. And you just dig up in that pizza, honey. Whoa. Mm, look. Look, Heidi. <gasps> that is a oh, whole pie. It's so good. That, it is the deepest now pizza. I get, now I see why people call it pie. And then the gas is is like I could not always go there because I lived in Milwaukee, which is yeah. close to Chicago, wow. like two hours. But Must it's not nice. like okay. it's not like a, a nice little. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go over to Chicago. Yeah, that's a shop. But now I live in uh, in Las Vegas. Yeah, right across the street from my job, which is, is down the street from my apartment. apartment. Yeah, is a fucking Giordano's Pizza. And you haven't invited Slat. me yet. You haven't invited me. Right at Bally's. Why, why don't you love me? This is your invitation to come to you Vegas right me? now. I'm telling you right now, Heidi, you come to Vegas and I can guarantee you one thing. It won't... You come to Vegas yeah. and I promise you, uh -huh. we'll cover this. We'll co well, we're covering. We're going to use your flight are we gonna, miles are we gonna to get you there. Wh why are you going to use my miles? You got more miles than me, don't you? Maybe. Probably. Girl, I'm not up for just giving up my miles. What? Girl, you gonna give me your miles? Girl, you gonna take them? You gonna you take gonna, my miles? I'm gonna take your miles. <laughs> you just gonna take Absolutely, my miles? Absolutely, I'm gonna take your miles. Girl, I work for those miles. Girl, so did I. Okay, now, Heidi, oh. let me see. Oh, see, let me look at this right here. I just have to look at this, girl, because I looked at <laughs> you, this and it gagged me you're out. You're doing great, girl. You're I'm doing great. great. Me too. It gagged me out because it reminded me of this story. Now, okay. girl, I have been waiting all day to tell you this thing. This God, is what you've been telling me about all day. I didn't day. tell you on the phone. You've been telling me about this all see, day. Okay. So, we went to the strip club uh -huh. in Vegas. My brother came in town, and we oh, were having like a fabulous time, girl. Mm -hmm. And it was not like the strip club with the boys, because it's so weird. You cannot go really almost see no male strippers, like, yeah. nude like that. You mm -hmm. have to go see, like, Magic Mike and shit. Ugh. And, but, um, anyways, we went to go see the strippers, and then we were like, I was like, girl, today we're going to make it a whole movie in here. We're going to get a whole, bunch of, a whole yes. bunch of singles, support the girls, you know, because the should. girl, the strippers, make me happy, bitch. They work. I live. They working hard. So we finna work. So we get a whole bunch of singles, girl, and I've we just like, this girl was working it out, girl. What's she I'm getting I'm telling it? you, she was serving down, oh. girl. And we just like throwing all the money on her, all the money on her. She went upside down Making on her it head, upside down on the pole, girl. Yes. And we like, like, nah, sprinkling it. And she trying to catch the dollars, right? Ah. And she grabbed one of the dollars, girl. A I'm little. like, bitch, let's go. Get it. She took the dollar, girl, and we're like waving it, waving it, waving it. Yes. And then she like creased it. Uh -huh. And waved it, waved it, waved it. And we like screaming, girl, we throw more money because she was still upside down. And she was like she's twerking, still, twerking, twerking, twerking. She's fully like going. creasing a dollar. Girl, she's creasing fully the, creased yeah. a dollar while uh, she's upside down. Yeah. I going crazy, girl. Took the dollar and sat it on where her poom poom. Uh, her her poom poom. And then it went. It went what? <laughs> it went, girl, it went, went like. What uh, and it? I was like. <laughs> Gagged me out, girl. I literally gave I, her like $100 after I that. Live. I was living. I live. It was kind of crazy. It, it like just went up. I love just went that. Up. Like a paper airplane. Just <laughs> went up and car oh glided my. right down. That's amazing. Ooh. It was the, amazing. The female body is a wonder. The human body is a wonder. That's true. Look you at could me. probably do that too, Heidi. We, you think? You could do that. With sand. <laughs> no, oh my God. Not with a sand bitch. <laughs> and before we end the show, yes. we want to take a moment to invite John Cena to be a guest on our podcast. Okay. Okay. Um, and why are we why are we inviting John Cena on the podcast, Heidi? Well, John Cena follows me on the Twitter. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna be my future husband one day. Maybe. Yeah, possibly. Maybe. I'm a, you know, my grandmother told me. Yeah. To speak things into existence. Said, there can be miracles. <laughs> Except John Cena. Except John Cena. Oh. But this is the T. Even if you can't marry John Cena. Yeah, yeah. John Cena can join us on this podcast. He could. And could. He can. And could. So take this moment, Heidi, to just cordially invite him. All in right. In the best way you can. 
Good evening, good morning, good night. This is me, Heidi in Closet, reporting to you live from HNC News. Um, sincerely, sincerely, is that a word? It's not a word, <laughs> Heidi, but we've come I to I honestly learn would things. love to invite yeah. you to come be on the podcast. Yeah. I am a fan. I used to watch you on on TV wrestling with my grandmother growing up, and mm-hmm. I'm also a fan of you on the Wipeout, so I'd love to have you on and talk. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yahtzee. You invited him. I did you that. You invited him. I had invited. And what else is he invited to do, Heidi? <sighs> He's invited to my wedding. Okay. Uh, hopefully, he'll be the groom. Okay, uh, so hopefully, he'll get there. There can be miracles. <laughs> <laughs> Except for John Cena. Except for John Cena. <laughs> but Heidi, he can, again, join us on this podcast. <laughs> yes, so absolutely. Hopefully, John Cena, you will take that invitation and you will join us on the podcast. Absolutely. Please. Yeah. Um, anyways, thanks so much, y'all, for listening to Hall and Closet, our very first episode. First I'm, one. I'm Jada Essence Hall. And I'm Heidi in Closet. And you can follow us on all of our social media. I'm Jada E. Hall. is J-A-I-D-A-E-H-A-L-L on all platforms. And you can find me at Heidi in Closet. H e i d i n c l o n c t. Okay, period. And make sure you follow Mom Podcast, y'all. That's Mom podcast make sure you at them yeah at them that's when you hit the at and if right. y'all like what y'all seen make sure y'all share it with y'all friends honey please and at all of us don't be that girl <laughs> okay, don't be don't leaving some of the girls out don't be that girl do not leave the girls do out do not be that girl who is coming on there and talking <laughs> about you had a good time and listening to the podcast and not sharing it with your friends and telling them to listen and what? subscribe okay listen Lixton. Lixton. Make sure you tell your friends that you love this podcast. You better share it and you better at me and you better at Heidi and you better at my podcast, girl. (laughs) Who is she yelling at? Who is she yelling at? Because we love you. (laughs) She's fully yelling. Okay, Heidi, and take that line right there with the blue line right there. (laughs) I love y'all. Stop playing with me. (laughs) She's fully lost it, y'all. My nails is giving me a vibe. (laughs) I saw. As soon as you started seeing the the stones pop off, you were starting to pop off. I'm like, here she go. Yeah. Okay, now please give me a second. Calm down, Miss Girl. You look good. Throw my braids back. Girl, girl, them shoulders look strong today. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) If you have a tip for us about something you want us to investigate, send us an email at hallandcloset at gmail.com. Okay. And again, y'all, make sure that you have subscribed to this podcast and add it to your podcast app. Um, or wherever you listen to podcasts, honey. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And y'all, again, please do make sure you share with your friends all of the great listening you've had. The people, I, does that make sense, Heidi? But, great listening. You know, I, you had. said it with conviction. Mm-hmm. So I think it's believable. So yes, it sounded right. Thank you. Yes. And make sure you see us next week for more Hall, Hall and Closet. Closet. Mama. Y'all see that. We did it. To listen to Hall and Closet one day early and ad free, sign up for Mom Plus at mompodcast.plus. Hall and Closet is a Forever Dog and Moguls of Media production, hosted by Jada Essence Hall and Heidi and Closet. Editing and sound design by Margot Padilla, with music by Will Pitts. Associate produced by Mark Jacobs. Executive produced by Big Dipper, Alaska Thunderfuck, Willem Belli, Joe Cilio, Brett Boehm, and Alex Ramsey.